hello everyone we have to find the value of x for doing that we have to remove this root sign from here to remove the sign of root we have to applying squaring on both side so square and root will be cancel out to each other but on this side it will become a formula of a minus b whole square so the formula of a minus b whole square is equals to a square minus 2ab plus b square where the value of a is 8 and the value of b is x putting it into the formula x minus 2 is equals to 8 square minus 2ab plus b square x minus 2 is equals to 8 squares will result as 64 2 into 8 times will result as 16 and 16 into x times 16x plus x square. Now we have to rearrange the equation. So we can write it like 0 equals to x square minus 16x minus x plus 64 plus 2. When this plus x move to that side it will be a minus and that minus 2 move to this side it will be comes with the sign of plus. So my equation will be x square minus minus 16 x minus x minus 17 x plus 64 plus 2 plus 66 equals to 0. Now this one is an standard form of quadratic equation. What we have to do? We have to multiply the coefficient of first and last term. The coefficients are 1 and 66 equals to 66. Now we have to write the factors of 66 which will be added or subtracted and gives us middle term. So we know that 6 into 11 times is equals to 66 and 6 and 11 will plus gives us 17. So we can use 6 and 11 in place of 17. x square minus 6x minus 11x plus 66 is equals to 0. Taking common from first two and last two, x will be common so the remaining one will be x minus 6. Over here both are the multiples of 11. So we can take minus 11 as common and the remaining one will be x minus 6 equals to 0 x minus 11 x minus 6 equals to 0 x minus 11 equals to 0 x minus 6 equals to 0 x is equals to 11 and x is equals to 6 hope you like the video please share and subscribe take care bye bye